Lexi Rosado here. I'm leaving my bathroom as I got ready for the day. Um, host of the mic drop, which is happening tonight at Blue Owl in Rio Town. This is a new addition to the weekly commitments and schedule. Um, but I wanted to drop some knowledge this morning to encourage you, motivate you, inspire you, and maybe even consider as an intention for today as you're considering the type of way that you want to live your life. Um, this morning I was thinking about control and surrender and I was listening to Stephen Furtick. He has a really great sermon. I maybe will even add the link below in the description <clears throat> so that you can click on it on this YouTube video. But one of the things that he was talking about was what if part of the things we have to let go of control of it's because we were never meant to have control of it to begin with. In other words, there was this false perspective of having a grip on this thing or control, but we really don't. And I started thinking about health. I had a really good conversation with someone last night. And one of the things that she was sharing with me is she said that actually her getting sick during this time frame, and it's not COVID, it was something else um, with her health, it was her thyroid, was the first time she realized that she doesn't really take care of herself. She's constantly taking care of other people. So it's almost like that sickness slowed her down to really consider what are the dreams and the things that she wants instead of always being the mom or caring for everybody else around her. What is it that she wants? So back to control. She had realized that she had spent so much of her time trying to control the circumstances around her, her kids, their future, what was going to happen. And as she focused on herself, it's like a lot of the other things started kind of happening. Her son um, focused on himself. And anyway, it's like she, as she took care of herself, the people around her took care of themselves as well. But I started even thinking this morning about I'm letting go of certain things that I cannot control. Most of them involve people, um, but letting go of things that I cannot control and as you release the things you can't control, there is something that it does get put in your power. And it's what you can control. Your mindset, your thought processes, your behaviors, your patterns, your emotions. Those are, your attitudes, those are all within my control. They still are within my control. And I think... Um, self-reflection moment. I had been spending so much time focusing on the things I cannot control that I was forgetting what was within my control and kind of losing a grip. And I just wonder if part of COVID, part of where we're at as a society, part of life, part of my journey as an individual is recentering on surrendering what we cannot control and taking ownership and responsibility for what we can control. There's a quote I learned in college that said, for every decision we make, there is a consequence and a reaction. And then it goes further and it talks about how do you support and love people? And it says, I'll be here for you um, no matter the consequence, unless you do something that jeopardizes my relationship with you. And that gets hard because we as people all have different boundaries for our circumstance. So what is your consequence? What is your boundary? Um, so today, the intention or something to consider is how are you in control of your mindset, your attitude, your behaviors, your patterns, your choices for today? And how can you be intentional about surrendering others that are around you? What are the things that stress you out around those around you that you love? Because it really comes from a place of love that you love dearly and you want to see what's best for them and you want to see them thrive. What do you have to surrender? So other people's behaviors, other people's patterns, other people's consequences. Sometimes you have to surrender that. Um, what do you have to surrender that involves other people and trust that God knows what's best for them? And what can you take back ownership of today that involves yourself? So those are my thoughts. And I hope you have an excellent day.
toodles. I'm currently working on boundaries. I'm currently working on communicating the desires of my heart. And I'm also currently working on making sure that those desires are submitted to the Lord and they're not selfish or, um, it's weird. I think we live in an egocentric, narcissistic kind of society. And even as you post things, it's easy to start being super self-consumed. But a filter that I constantly think of, this is just a ton of free knowledge today, guys, is like, is my intention to serve others? And if the intention is to serve others, um, sometimes serving yourself is a form of serving others because you can't love others to the extent of which you don't love yourself. Okay, I'm done. Love you. Have an excellent day. God, I pray right now for anybody watching this, Father God, that you would be our source. You would be the power that we submit to. <sighs> that every concern, fear, anxious thought would be casted. Our cares would be casted on you. And God, I pray that you would replace them. That you would infiltrate those thoughts with truth that you would infiltrate those thoughts with trust. And God, for our loved ones, I pray that you would help us surrender them and hand them over to you. And God, I also pray that for my life as an individual, that you would continue to be the leading voice louder than anything else. And that I would continue to trust that you are good and you somehow work everything together for our good. I pray that you would be the hope of the world and the hope of my world and the hope of my life and the hope of those listening's lives in the midst of a space where we lack a lot of control from health to friends and families and sometimes even when emotions come up. Pray that the spaces we cannot control, that you would help us to recognize how to control if we can and then how to surrender if we can't. So yeah, give us wisdom on what we can control and give us enough faith to trust you with what we cannot and surrender it to you. In Jesus' name, amen.